go. So this is one of those crates. Spartan crate. Get you some upgrades. All that good stuff. Sweet. Another silex. But this one's open. What do you think was in yeah. it? Another problem. <laughs> Why so cynical? <laughs> it might be something good. Trust me. Does it that look good? Be. I like how optimistic she is. She's such a because she's an infant in AI years, so she's uh she's got like a naivete to her, which is kind of fun, um, because it's not the Cortana we remember when we last saw, saw Cortana. So it's a good way to distinguish the two. This Hydra gun is awesome. Oh, sorry. standing in something that was hurting me. Typical me. But now we have gone up to the surface, so that's why Echo can hear us now. He dropped us off at a certain key point at the bottom get here? to get close to the you know, to be as close to that signal as we could. But now we're farting, uh, farting our way. <laughs> we're fighting now. We're fighting our way to the surface. Um, just and she's going to help us get there. Able to get control from here. So, has fallen. so yeah, this is... I think earlier I was calling him Atriox, and this is a Scarium. He was not the um, best of the banished, not by any measure. It occurs to me that we have not been introduced. I, of course, know of you, Spartan. Your legend. The fear you inspire is admirable. The hope you stir in the hearts of your kind. Misplaced. Um, yeah, I, w I was confusing I him earlier. I forgot that they do that switch where Atriox is the is the legend. one who doesn't talk a lot. He just pummels you. Me for mercy. Escarim is like his right I hand am general. War uh, chief of the banished. Yeah, he's. He's the speech giver. So yeah, I was I was and wrong in the first episode. Uh, have little time remaining in it. Yeah, here we are on the ring. Look at that. You see that arch? It's so classic, you know, Halo, just to see that arch go straight up. But you can see it broken, right? See right there? So unlike other Halo games where you just see a clean shot straight up. Wow, look at this place. This is a broken so Halo ring. Full of more monsters coming to kill us. <laughs> Very true. So let's go kill them you first. Need to clear me somewhere to land. Incoming. Tremonius has fallen. And slide. Yeah, this gun is awesome. This Hydra, it's so awesome. So now we are in the open world of the game. Say I cheated. Huh? Ain't no game cheating going on here. Ooh, run! Ooh, I'm glad that didn't stick to me. Like I said, crates and cores to find, upgrades.
hoping I could take that big thing down, but... I have no weapon. <laughs> That's like loaded. Oops. Oh, there we go. Oof. That's the last of them. Is it safe? Is anything? We won't reload this though, so that's okay. I'll answer that. If you can find me somewhere to hack in, I think I can guarantee this base will be safe for your friend to land. Landing zone hacked. Let me see. The banished are using a modification of the Covenant's Battle.net protocol. Pretty easy to push through, and done. I've removed this location from their system. We're safe here. And that's another thing. There's little safe bases, like LZ's zones, around the map. And so going around, taking out enemies, it's not just for upgrades and stuff, but you can also make safe areas to, you know, do quick transports into, um, and quick exits from certain areas. Uh, you could have soldiers hang out at those bases, and as you find survivors, it's pretty neat. I'm kind of glad they added elements like that into this. Can you imagine being in space for months, uh, watching all your friends die all around you, and actually coming down to? Please tell even though he's not on a planet, it's but it's still. Did you find the weapon you were looking for? Can we go? Bye. What the? Oh, Cortana. But she. This is all her fault. It isn't Cortana. Tell him. But it's classified. Permission to Tell him. I was created by Dr. Catherine Halsey to mimic this installation's security to trap Cortana for deletion. I was successful. Cortana's no longer a threat. And now she's going to help us stop the banished. Of course she is. I think I'm with you. I didn't even know what a banished was an hour ago, and even I can see the odds aren't great. Yes. Yes, you should listen to her. You're gonna get us all killed. Oh, this is fascinating. You're trying to survive. But I was programmed to die. Really? One person with a death wish wasn't enough. No, I was just <laughs> figuring what I'm supposed to... Wait. I'm picking up a UNSC distress signal. Location. The source is four kilometers from here. Here is the distress signal's point of origin. The tower. This is our current location. This was, until two minutes ago, a banished forward operating base. I say was because now. So the things that reset are these little. See these little Chief, icons? What is he talking about? Like the one of one, one of now, one, here's the uh, cool two part. of three. Those, I think, reset every game you play. But there are certain things like skulls and all that hands. stuff that don't reset. Well, pause. Like if they you get them pause. once, you're good. Each one is associated with a territory. Here is the location of the UNSC signal I've been tracking. And here are two more fobs. Yep. Mark it. See, we got Let's the go. database. Let's go. From, that one had a data pad in it, we, so we already found it, so we don't have to redo that. It's there, I think, if you want to reactivate there? it to hear it, but it's in our inventory, too, so. But yeah, this guy, you know, Echo216, like, he's he just wants to go home, right? Like, his... He's probably suffering a little bit of, like, lighthouse syndrome or space madness, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, he's Ready suffered a little chief. bit of that. And, Get on board and we can now, he's of all things, he finds Master Chief. So he's like, dude, this is my ticket home. We can we can just leave. I can go see my family. But this threat is going to follow. He's going to take us to our destination. I thought we were going to have to go by foot. That's why I started running. But I'm like, oh, wait. Calling me back. Dude, look at that. So yeah, obviously this is, you know, tech that's trying to rebuild the shattered portion of the ring. Or at least get it to where it's operational again, even if it doesn't recombine everything. It's just trying to be operational. You would think the Banish would have more forces in this specific area, but I guess it makes sense where they're stationed too. Um to some. 
I think it's beautiful. Quite the achievement, these rings. I have a question. I was created to lock down Cortana, but I don't know why. What did she do that was so wrong? She was our target. <laughs> I understand that, but... Is this yeah, and he's reluctant to tell her because, because he doesn't want her to the information. become like Cortana. Is he thinks if she but knows what forced Cortana to change, everywhere. it would make her change too. What intel did Dr. Halsey give you before your mission? Halsey only tells people what they need to know. Fly Pelican straight into enemy territory. No one will ever notice. Great <laughs> idea, big guy. I still don't understand why you had to delete her. It feels like something's missing. Guess what? They noticed. They all noticed. <laughs> and we've got a bad structure up ahead. They, they kind of do a um, very God of War wait, uh, thing with this game. Where the cutscenes are, the camera just moving around. It's kind of single shot approach. Put us down here. Um, which is really cool because it just always keeps you in the the moment. You know? Like uh, it's close. Cinematic in a different way, and that's what I like about God of War too. It always just kept you in the moments of the character of the story. Um, anything that kind of mattered, you were there for. That's what this is, too. So you're there hearing her ask questions, and you're trying to shut her out. And then you're also hearing, uh, We're close you know, to the UNSC Echo signal's origin. <laughs> just kind of have Here's his here. mental There's breakdown. Just too much chatter on all banished channels. I keep hearing the tower. It's probably the main structure we saw as we flew in. Probably. Let's go find it. So finding Spartan cores is good. Makes, uh... Like, later on when you're traversing, if you're going by foot on certain things, it's good to have, like, your grapple hook totally maxed out. Dang, sorry, Marine. Um, that way you can, you know, get to places easier without having to call in ships and going back to bases. Like, you're like, you know what, I'm already here. Let's just grapple to the top of this mountain. <laughs> so, yeah, this place unfortunately got taken down is a total bummer. And you find that a lot. There's a lot of interesting stuff in this game as far as plot where you're like like or story, I guess, where you just see like okay, this camp was taken down, but hey, there's a couple survivors like the the squad we rescued and oh, okay, there's this, but nobody survived unfortunately. So there's a story to tell here. Sometimes you find like a little digital journal to read that'll help tell the story of what happened at that location and just adds to the world building of this game. Oh, oh yeah. Spartans never die. We're going right up, aren't we? I guess Tower was a more than appropriate name. Look at that place. Sure was. The signal's coming from within that main structure. Somewhere up okay. top. We're going to need to find a way in. So then, let's do it. Oh, see? Let's get some backup. Hey, grunt and mine. Yeah, something's wrong with the birds. They need to do an update or something. Because the birds aren't flying in the sky. They're flying like a f freaking inch or two off the ground. Cool. Saved a squad. Nice. All right. So, oh my goodness, look at this place. It's awesome. 
I think the other times I've come through here, the one or two other playthroughs, I went around the side and like grappled to the top. So this is kind of cool that we just ended up going through this way, um, which I think is kind of the way they designed it to be, you know, to, to happen, but obviously you can choose. Who are they shooting at? Alright, opening gate. And setting off the alarm. Got him. Shoot those helmets off. Yeah, there's enemies all around us, <laughs> so maybe going through the front gate was not the smartest. Enemy contact. Enemy contact. Him down, got him, got him. Right here. Sweet. I know it's a nice shot, man. Hey, man, nice shot. Just throw. A sniper. So Where? the demon is here. Did you uh -oh. think I would let you walk right into my tower? My uh, tower. I was hoping you would. I think not. My facility is locked up. There is nothing you can do here. Except oh. die. Guess I'm dying then. Seems confident. Yes, uh, yeah. he does, but fortunately, it's misplaced. When the lockdown triggered, there was a power spike in what I presume was a security building. I've marked it on the map. All right. This is it. Let's find a way in. Yeah, I think the first time I played this, that's what I did. As I, I scaled up one of those from that side, I think, and then you know came in this way. Or on the other side, it was one of the two. So yeah, that's what I like. Is it kind of reminds me of like Metal Gear Solid uh, Five, where they just go, okay, this is the area you got to go in, and then you just gotta, you know, you have like however way you want to get there. Been stuck by a smooth criminal. <laughs> Got him. Look at him. Stuck in the wall like an idiot. Let's do this. The lockdown protocol on, should be simple to reverse. Let me see. Three, two, one. Done. Oh. Uh oh. What is it? This. This place is an interrogation facility run by our elite friend back there, Chacklock. His Chuck reputation Lock. is not good. I don't, did they make he a figure mine. of him? I don't think they did. Um. So I've sold a lot of my action figure collection, but the one figure collection that I have been unable to sell to manually activate the gravity lift. is my I've Jazzwares Halo map. figures. And maybe, who knows, maybe it's for a reason, maybe I'm supposed to keep them. Um, I really do like those figures. Um, I really do like those figures. 
What's up, Andy? Good to see you, man. We are Venom. <laughs> So. This location acts as a holding facility. Prisoners are captured, funneled through to Chack Lock, and then onto somewhere they call the House of Reckoning, which is suitably ominous and banished Ooh. sounding. House of Reckoning. That does sound very banished. Let's get out of here. Because that gate is locked. And then let's try this. down. Just funnel them in one at a time. Get down. Dude. The triplets here. <laughs> it's a good beard, though. I gotta say, it's a good beard. Hey, I'm hanging in there, Andy. How about you, man? And, dude, that article, that was awesome that you got to talk to to that lady. I, um, I saw a video. Adam Savage... I don't know if you're aware, uh, familiar with him. Back when the Moon Knight show came out, he did a, um, he went to the studio, like where that lady worked and where they designed the costume and stitched it together. Find a way and he to had her gravity lift. break down like the, um, he had her break it down, you know, like uh, for him like how they made the suit and everything and then he showed off all the she showed off all the materials and it was really cool and so when you said you were interviewing her I was like oh that's how I know who she is because uh, because of that Adam Savage video um, and reading your interview is cool I like that you kind of snuck in the the, the blu-ray thing where it's like it's listed as the complete first season and uh to try to like be like, hey, do you think we'll get a second season? Uh, and I was like, oh, that's very, that was actually very clever <laughs> to put that in there. Because, I, yeah, I wonder like if they know that kind of stuff. Like people who work on the show, even actors, like I wonder if Oscar Isaac found out, like, you know, hey, uh, Remember, we can't they put, get up there without they, com the they put complete lift. first season on the, uh, you know, on the Blu ray. Uh, it's, you know, I guess insinuating that there would be a second season. Yeah, the Blu-ray list, because I, ha I have the Blu-ray. It came in a couple days ago. Um, so I'm very lucky and blessed that I got a copy uh, sent early, too. Um, so I'm very happy. Like, uh, uh, And when I saw the complete first season thing, I, I laughed. I was like, like that's awesome. That's really awesome. How do you scan the ground again? Oh, this Find is how you do it. The gravity lift. There it is. Boom, boom, and... There we go. There we go. And now we got more a-holes to kill. Ow. There we go. Gravity lifts active. Got him. Nice. Oh, is it? What? Oh, sure is. Crap. Where are they? Oh, here. Oof. Yeah, well, I'm very happy you enjoyed the interview. I did a whole rewatch before the interview to make sure I didn't miss anything. That was smart, man. I think I, I've i seen the show probably like... Oh, my God. How many times have I watched it in its completion? Probably like... Ten times, um, and blue. I think maybe I don't know. Actually, probably I would guess around that many times. Um, so all right. So we activated this. Let's go inward. Oh crap! Chief or Spartan armor and the source of the distress signal. We're too late. You guys are coming with me. Time to turn the tables. 
Yeah, get some weapons in here, guys. There we go. Spartan core. Nice. And that, kids, is why it's good to scan the areas anytime you go into a new zone. But yeah, I'm I'm excited for. Uh, I mean, I I really I really enjoyed your interview with her and the questions you asked. I was like, oh, this is really cool. Um, so I'm glad you got that opportunity, man. That's amazing. I, I've been I talked to Darren Knopp a few times. He's like the the stunt double of Oscar Isaac. He was the one actually in the costume doing a lot of the, the martial arts and the stunts. And me and him communicate every once in a while on Instagram. And I tried to line him up for an interview. F a while ago for when me and my friend Nate were going to do a Moon Knight show, and he was ready to go, but then the Moon Knight show, like, never happened with my friend, and so I was like, oh, okay, so I, I didn't, I haven't bothered him lately, but I figure if they announce either a season two or, like, a, or a Moon Knight in uh, Secret Avengers, you know, whatever movies, the Secret Wars, like, if they announce that, then maybe I would try again then when it's more, you know, might look, or he might be back working. Alright, found another a deployable Spartan. Sensor. It appears to lock onto and highlight any targets in range. Could be useful. So yeah, these I mean, and again, these tell stories of the game too, where it's like there were Spartans Spartan named Hudson Griffin, like Griffin here. Sensor logs who got um, he was alive captured armor was removed. Forcibly. And torturing it's him for information. Shot, but he might still be alive. And here's Harpy. It's very faint. Oh no, Spartan Griffin! He's still alive. Yeah, we need to go. get him out of there. Where's Chaplock? Unknown. Where is Chaplock? Get him. Welcome to my tower, Master Chief. Oh, here he is. It is where you will be broken. I don't think it is so. where you will give up your Checky secrets. boy. So yeah, he's like the interrogator of uh, the banished. Much better. The walls retracted. Watch your back. He could come from anywhere. Take that, Chacklock. You suck. We need to get him out of that machine. And I got your sword. We gotta get him out. Come on. Uh this. Shut this thing down. So yeah, definitely I don't okay. recognize I have an elite. Okay. Because I'm looking at my figures right now. I have them on the desk here. Um and I have an elite Sangili character you, like him. But not the same armor and the mask is not the same, so Dude. Chief. The banished. You gotta remember, like before stop. this, you know, I Spartan tried. certainly died. Like, especially in Reach, like, Easy. the noble team. You're safe now. And some of the them went randomly, thing. like, by sneak attacks, and, something they call a conservatory. and others went down, like, so I know. really fighting. So to come across tortured Spartans is, is rough, like, because you're like, dude, these I are the baddest of the bad. But you can. You, you have to. Consider it done. That's good. Good. The others, the Spartans. Did you? I'll find them. Echo two sixteen, all channels. Can you hear me? Get I repeat. Can you hear me? Dang man, the timing's bad, Echo. But yeah, yeah we got Chief? you. Chief, he's gone. Big guy, your motion tracker isn't moving. Ah, come on. Give me anything. Chief, I... 
respond. Please! Did you find the source of the signal? Whatever's down there either has to come with us or be left behind. Can you hear me? Dude, Echo, shut up for a second. <laughs> I love you, guy. Sight on the ring? This conservatory must be some sort of forerunner installation. What do you suppose they're after? It's time to go. Ugh, more forerunner crap. Wait, we're just body. Oh, it's there. It's leaning against the thing. It's just dark in here. Save and check. Alright. So they're gonna open a door for us. Oof. Tower complete. I'm guessing that whatever the conservatory is, the banished won't want us anywhere near it. Then they'll be disappointed. Yes, they <laughs> will. Let's get them. <laughs>